I am Diana Galata, and I'm Executive Director of Public Relations and Marketing for Hampton City Schools, and I'm very proud to serve as your MC today. As I was preparing for today, I conducted a little bit of research on citizenship, and I came across a website called educationworld.com. This research led me to the five characteristics of a good citizen, and I would like to commend each one of you for demonstrating one, more, or all of these citizenship traits. First, honesty is a basic theme of good citizenship. A person must be honest with others and with himself or herself in order to be a good citizen. Secondly, compassion. Compassion is the emotion of caring for people and other living things. Compassion gives a person an emotional bond with her world. Third is respect. A good citizen has self-respect, respects others, respects property, and respects rules and laws. Out of honesty, compassion, and respect comes responsibility. Responsibility is about action. and includes much of what people think of as good citizenship. Finally, the theme of courage is important to good citizenship. People are capable of moving beyond mere goodness toward greatness. Courage enables people to do the right thing, even when it's unpopular or difficult. Thanks to each one of you here today for your role as a good citizen in our schools, in our Hampton community, and in our world. It is now my, my distinct pleasure to introduce our school superintendent, Dr. Jeffrey Smith. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, come on, let's do better than that. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. What? I want to say that I'm certainly delighted and honored to be present with you during the uh, Citizen of the Month recognition luncheon. As outstanding young people, you certainly embody scholarship, character, respect, courtesy, and sportsmanship. Indeed, you are leaders, and other students, no doubt, look to you as role models. Because of you, I know that our future as a school division and as a country, both are absolutely bright. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Congratulations on your selection as a citizen of the month. I encourage you to continue to do as Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. And now it is my honor to recognize the chair of our school board, Mr. Jason Samuels. Please join me as he comes forward. Thank you. Good morning, boys and girls. All right, it is such a honor to be in your presence and to see so many students being recognized for Citizen of the Month, but I would like to also recognize our teachers and also our administrators uh, for being here with us to help us celebrate this great day um, as you are being recognized for Citizen of the Month. As Dr. Smith and Diane Galata alluded earlier in reference to some of the qualities and characteristics of being good citizens, I will not go and speak about other qualities because they have said great things about what, is, what are some of the qualities and characteristics of being a good citizen. However, there are a few people in attendance that are here to help you celebrate um, this accomplishment, and they are former school board member Dave Pearson, who is in attendance. We also have our student rep um, that serve as, um, as members of the Hampton School Board, stand and be recognized, our student reps. We also have uh, Miss Ann Stevens-Cherry, 
who is our vice chair. Ms. Cherry, could you please be stand and be recognized? And also, this event would not be possible without our gracious sponsors. And our sponsors today, uh, this morning, are Wells Fargo with Greg Snow. And Mr. Snow is, in, is invited to make a few remarks. We also have Candace Jones from Hampton Roads Educators Credit Union. And she's also given the opportunity to say a few remarks. We also have Crystal Ford from Hampton Association of Education office professionals, and she will um, say a few words, but uh, Mr. Greg Snow is with Wells Fargo, and at this time, Mr. Snow, please come to the podium. Thank you. Good morning. Mr. Samuels, thank you. Dr. Smith, thank you. Um, it's really a pleasure to be here. We've been working with Hampton Schools for 18 years. I think this is our fifth year uh, of sponsoring the luncheon, so I'm glad to be back. Um, how many of you all are repeat citizens of the month here today? I know there's a lot of you. And how many are first timers? All right, so who's graduating this year? Okay, so everybody else, I expect you to be back here again for the next Citizen of the Month, right? Can you all do that? I think you can. Well, I think you all have really laid out what it takes to be a good citizen. Um, I would tell you that um, as you look at those qualities, the one thing I thought about today was decisions. If you take those qualities and really grasp them and let them guide you, you'll always make good decisions. I've never regretted making a good decision. So it'll be tough at times, but if you do the right thing, you'll make the right decision. You'll never regret it. So I'll just leave that with you today. Again, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here and keep up the great work. You should be very proud of what you do. And those that are uh, not graduating, I will see you back here again next year. So thank you. Ms. Jones from Hampton Roads Educators Credit Union. And Crystal, you'll be up next. Good morning, everyone. I would like to say to our children that has, have chosen this path of good citizenship, Hampton Rose Educators wants to congratulate you from the bottom of our hearts. In a world that often rewards poor behavior and glorifies poor decision making, we congratulate you on choosing morals and values that were once so near and dear, such as honesty, compassion, respect, and courage. As a good citizen, you not only exhibit those behaviors, you encourage those around you to be a little bit better and try a little bit harder. People are not comfortable making poor decisions such as bullying or using foul language around you because they know what you stand for. I want to encourage you that even though it may get hard and even though you may lose a few friends along the way, stay true to yourself, dig deep inside and pull your greatness out each and every day. Children are not born good citizens. Good traits are instilled in them and cultivated by all the greatness around them. Parents, family, teachers, school staff, pastors, and the list goes on. Everyone plays a part in building our children up and if, or unfortunately tearing them down. So for those that work so tirelessly to harness the goodness in our children, we also honor you today. This is what we do at Hampton Roads Educators. Even with changing trends and rising fees, we stay true to the motto of our institution when we first started in Hampton High School, people helping people. The flashy lights of big banks do not sway us. Spending our members' money on fancy advertisements is not an option. We are good citizens in our community, rooted in our educators and serving them since 1954. 
And again, I would like to say congratulations to all of Hampton's good citizens. Thank you, Ms. Jones. And now we have Crystal Ford from HJEOP. Good morning, everyone. It's so wonderful to see you all here this morning. HJEOP, we are a sponsor of this event, and we are here because we want to celebrate all that you have done. Will HAOP please stand? <laughs> HAEOP is here to support you all in your endeavors, and we are glad to celebrate you on today. Thank you for the opportunity to support something positive happening with our children in Hampton City Schools. We do not take it lightly what you have accomplished, and we look forward to you all accomplishing more great things. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal, Mr. Samuels, Dr. Smith, and our sponsors. Thank you very much. Now it's time for the best part of the luncheon, the food. Um, we will come to your table and let you know when to get in the buffet line. Um, before eating, I would like to ask our school board members, city council members, superintendent, and valedictorians pause for a quick photo in the back corner of the room. Um, Armstrong, what's your table number over there? Well, that makes sense. Number one, we will start with number one. You all may go and get in line. Enjoy your lunch. Hello, my name is Daphne Dunn. Hello, my name is Elise Mouton. Hello, my name is Emma Hughes. Hello, my name is Jaylani Piotrowski. And, and we, we attend Armstrong, Armstrong School Elementary School. Hello, my name is William Marks. Hello, my name is Wisdom Ames. Hello, my name is Janae Lepriedo. Hello, my name is Anthony Golo. Hello, my name is Amari Wooten. Hello, my name is Landon Edwards. Hello, my name is Shade Wallace Day. Hello, my name is Anaya Simpson. Hello, my name is Shaquilla Clark. And, and we attend Bassett Elementary School. Hello, my name is Kaylee Kipper. Hello, my name is Danae Battle. Hello, my name is Rylan Zeman. Hello, my name is Sarah Wright. Hello, my name is Aiden De Guzman. Hello, my name is Tisha Bogutsky. And we attend Spratly Gifted Center. Hello, my name is Edward Bird. Hello, my name is Tyron Furman. Hello, my name is Tenderly Diaz. Hello, my name is Danelle Johnson. Hello, my name is Ashley Elamy. Hello, my name is Zion Lee. And, and we, we attend Beavis High School. Hello, my name is Nevea Butler. Hello, my name is Isabel Gowdy. Hello, my name is Kristen Liljohn. Hello, my name is Jaden Fansler. Hello, my name is Naima Banks. Hello, my name is Monique Gilford. And we attend Ryan Elementary School. Hello, my name is Jacob Carpenter. Hello, my name is Olivia Washington. Hello, my name is Zoe Galloway. Hello, my name is Brayden Nellis. And we attend Smith Elementary School. Hello, my name is John Smith, and I attend Bridgeport. Hello, my name is Ramazan Mohammed. Hello, my name is Hussein Nafia. Hello, my name is Joshua Volk. Hello, my name is Haley Roberts. Hello, my name is Elise Riantasso. Hello, my name is Stephanie Harris. Hello, my name is Kai Wynn. Hello, my name is Kalia Stone. And we are at High School. Hello, my name is Deja Moore. Hello, my name is Malik Hardy. Hello, my name is Claire Casongo. And we attend Lindsay Middle School. School. Hello, my name is Richard Oban. Hello, my name is Emily Woodall. Hello, my name is Anthony Southcombe. Hello, my name is Elijah Library. Hello, my name is True Gerhard. Hello, my name is Michaela Brown. And we, and we attend, attend Sims, Sims Middle School. Hello, my name is Benjamin Atterbury. August Olson. Mira Toby. Sam Hyatt. And Queen Lee Mays. And, and we, we attend, attend Kikatan High School. Hello, my name is Jamal Coppage. Jayla Bass. Marcus Edward Tendry. And, and we, we attend Edward Elementary School. school. Hello, my name is Ayanna Smith. My name is Neve Anderson Sewell. My name is Emma Elise Rodriguez. My name is Reese Dodden. And, and we attend Madison Elementary School. Hello, my name is Madison Rungi. Hello, my name is Jalen Smith. Hello, my name is Jeremy Milliken. And, and we attend Asbury Elementary School. Hello, my name is Adesha Hinton. Hello, my name is Jordan Watson. Hello, my name is Stacey Martin. Hello, my name is Antonio Davis. 
we attend Aaron Elementary School. Hello, my name is Kimani Andrews. Hello, my name is Quanasia Leary. Hello, my name is Amelia Griffiths. And, and we, we attend, attend Carey Elementary, Elementary School. School. Hello, my name is Tanaj Johnson, and I attend uh, Cooper Elementary School. Hello, my name is Tyler Sweeney. Hello, my name is Amari. Hello, my name is Anya. Hello, my name is Julian. And we yes, attend Cooper Elementary, Elementary School. Hello, my name is Bishop Upton. Hello, my name is Sasha Adams Hypeside. Hello, my name is Brendan Frazier. Hello, my name is Josh and Adams. And, and we, we attend Aberdeen Elementary School. Hello, my name is Jonathan Coronado. Hello, my name is Sophia Toby. Hello, my name is Michaela Barkley. Hello, my name is Ryan Felkner. Hello, my name is Zachary Carpenter. And, and we, we attend Jones Magnet Middle School. Hi, my name is Matthew Coleman. Hi, my name is Cameron Key. Hello, my name is Natalie Burton. And, and we, we attend Craft Elementary School. School. Hi, my name is Zuri Claypool. Hi, my name is Cynthia Cheetah. Hi, my name is Brooklyn Owens. Hi, my name is Layla Gray. Hi, my name is Christian Adams. Hi, my name is Hajo Hawk. And, and we are at Eden Middle, Middle School. School. Hello, my name is Kayla Valentine. Hello, my name is Kira Ava. Hello, my name is Adriana Felder. Hello, my name is Amani Belcher. Hello, my name is Courtney Ray. And, and we are at Davis Middle School. School. Hello, my name is Joshua Reynolds. Hello, my name is Annabella Espeling. Hello, my name is Eliana Jefferson. Hello, my name is Mikey Howe. And we are saying Tucker Caps Elementary School. Hello, my name is Kendall Ogletree. Hello, my name is Jeremiah Buzik. Hello, my name is Timothy Williams. Hello, my name is Nevaeh DeGravi. And we attend Forest Elementary School. Hello, my name is Alonzo Smallwood. Hello, my name is Amaya Shahada. Hello, my name is Ayana Chambers. Hello, my name is Michael Mitchell. Hello, my name is Dana Blue. Hello, my name is Caitlin Steitner. Hello, my name is Jansi Thunchuchu. Hello, my name is Julia Bryant. And we attend Bethel High School, the home of black academic excellence. Hello, my name is Tyrone Cawthon. Hello, my name is Ryan Forrest. Hello, my name is Sophie Hadley. Hello, my name is Desi Ann Hunter. Hello, my name is Roller Davenport. Hello, my name is Cadence Grace. Hello, my name is Casey Martorano. Hello, my name is Alexis Flowers. Hello, my name is Anissa Hood. And we attend Phoenix School. Hello, my name is Kelvin Taunton, and I attend Tyler Elementary School. Hello, my name is Anaya Pettis. Hello, my name is Olivia Foreman. Hello, my name is Jack Pertel. And, and we, we attend Phillips Elementary School. Hello, my name is Michael Bertulli. Hello, my name is Jason Barahan. Hello, my name is Lilith Rodriguez. Hello, my name is Melanie Beliza Boite. And, and we, we attend Langley Elementary School. Thumbs up? Good. I know some of you are still in line and getting some dessert, but that's okay. Just take your time. We're good. Um, I know you're all in a hurry to get back to school, right? Okay. okay. Well, we have um, three wonderful speakers today. They are the top citizens. If we can stop talking. Thank you so much. Our speakers today are the top citizens in our high schools, earning the highest grade point averages in their class as they prepare for graduation. We're going to start with Bethel. The 2017 valedictorian for Bethel High School is Ashley Orgain, graduating, listen to this, with a cumulative grade point average of 4.46. Wow. An SAT score of 1320 and a 30 composite on the ACT. This impressive Bruin is a scholar, a writer, a director, and a performer. She has received numerous honors, including Early College Scholar, Outstanding Mathematics, Foreign Language, Advanced Placement, and Senior Academic Awards. Serving as president for the National Honor Society, a Ashley also led Bethel's International Thespian Troupe No. 290 as president of the Drama Club. Outside of school, she trains in English-style equestrian horseback riding where she practices flat work and jumping for shows. In addition to this, she aids in teaching children basic riding skills and how to care for their horses. Ashley will attend the College of William and Mary in the fall, where she will be majoring in theater with a minor in marketing. Ashley, please come forward.
Good afternoon. Congratulations to all of you for your many achievements, one of which is obviously that you are here to join us today. I have a few words on citizenship, which I think we all here embody. A model citizen is someone whom others respect because of their character and success. Ideally, we strive to be kind, open-minded, grounded, and giving, all while being successful. However, there are instances where our pride may be a little excessive, we act out of character and snap at someone, or we forget that there are others less fortunate than us. In spite of these moments, we must still work to keep our humility and kind nature. At this point in our lives, aside from balancing time commitments to personal goals and volunteering, we also work toward that balance between our academic and social lives. But as we all know, this unfortunately isn't always possible. As my mother likes to put it, no one can do everything. At some point, something has to give. For example, I put off studying for a test until late the night before. As I had just started to read the chapter, I got a frantic call from a friend. His grandmother had kicked him out of her house and he had nowhere to sleep that night. Naturally, I told him he could spend the night at my house. Needless to say, I didn't get any studying done. Being there for my friend when he needed someone to talk to was infinitely more important than any grade, despite the fact that I needed to ace the test to get an A for the semester. The following day, my test was first block and I contemplated skipping, but thought better of it. Instead, I went in and I failed miserably. It is these types of choices that define us. Although we care about material things such as grades and money, we also care about friends and family. It is these times when we are forced to choose between personal goals or being there for someone that shows who we really are. For good citizens, we'll always pick the truly important qualities like friendship, compassion, and generosity over any pursuit for oneself, be this money, a grade, or a job. Because nothing speaks louder than our drive to succeed, coupled with a humble mind and kind heart. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. The Hampton High Crabbers have two students sharing the rank of number one in the senior class and a grade point average of 4.62. We will begin with Ankush Hamarik Dutt. Ankush has an SAT score of 1530. He balances his academics between Hampton High School and the engineering strand of the Governor's School for Math, Science, and Technology. He is the captain of the Crabbers Scholastic Bowl team, a member of the Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society, forensic team, and soccer team. He serves as the treasurer of the German Club and Community Builders Network. Ankush has superb spatial intelligence as he is ranked number one for speed solving the Rubik's Cube in the state of Virginia. It's in quite, yes. It's quite impressive to watch as he can speed solve in an average of 9.24 seconds. Seconds. He will be attending the California Institute of Technology in the fall where he will major in computational and applied mathematics with a minor in computer science. Please come forward, Ankush. We want to see it. Do you want to see it? Yes. Hello. Oh. Ooh, it's kind of bright, but I'll, I'll solve it anyway. OK, three, two, one. Uh, I can't see. Wow, what an, <laughs> what an honor it is to stand in front of such a model group of students who have shown others that they care for not only themselves, but also for the people around them. You all should be the ones teaching me about good citizenship because I can learn so much from the characteristics that you all value in your life. I will do my best to tell you about some of the traits 
that I've made a point to have so that I can be in the position that I am in now. First off, although in many situations it can be hard, always be honest, it means more than you think it does, not only because you will feel like a better person, but also, also because the people around you can gain trust and respect for you. I learned this through an experience I had back in ninth grade. As you guys must know by now, Google Drive is a platform that allows for easy collaboration with others. In my information technology class, our teacher assigned us some homework to do on Google Drive. She made it clear, though, that this was an individual assignment. A close friend of mine sat next to me in that class, and he was not as motivated as I was. He asked me if he could get my answers after I was done. I did not even hesitate to share them with him because, well, he was my friend, and why would I not help out a friend? But then after a couple of days, I thought to myself, is this the kind of person I want to be? Is this what my parents would want me to do in this situation? I didn't feel right, and so I decided to tell my teacher what happened. And guess what? She actually had realized that we cheated because we had the exact same answers on our assignment, so she knew we had collaborated even though she had told everyone not to. She was proud of me for having the morals to approach her about what I had done. And she decided to not give me a zero, even though she had said she was going to had I not brought it up to her. And even though he got a zero, my friend was not mad at me because he realized that I did not feel comfortable with what I had done, and he actually appreciated that I stood up for what I believed was right. Always be honest, because dishonesty is not only detrimental to your conscience, but it also hurts the people you lie to. Trust your conscience. If you ever feel pressured into doing something that doesn't feel right, find the courage to let people know that you are not comfortable. Which leads me to, which leads me to my next idea. Being a good citizen means not always following the masses. Stand up for what you believe to be right, even if it is contrary to social norms. There are many reasons that Martin Luther King Jr. and Mahatma Gandhi are referred to as extraordinary people. They had the courage to, to change the rules of society, even when every odd was against them. Now, you, have, you do not have to be the next Gandhi to be a good citizen. Just try to incorporate similar values into your life. If you do not agree with something, use your voice to work for positive change. We need people like you who will have the guts to speak out, because that is what a, being a good citizen is all about. Lastly, think bigger than yourself. Being a citizen means that you will give back to your community in as many ways as possible. Volunteer to be active in the world around you. Not only does it let you help others who may not be as fortunate as you, but it also helps you expand your network. I'm a part of an organization called the Community Builders Network, which does different projects for youth in the Hampton and Newport News areas. And I was also a member of the Hampton Youth Commission, which is a student council group that works to raise awareness to the problems youth face in the community. Through these organizations, I feel that I'm making a difference in the community that raised me, and also getting to know the people in my community better. Being active makes you a bigger part of the big, makes you a part of the bigger picture. And to extend on this, remember that the world does not revolve around one individual. Always make sure you show or empathy towards others. Show compassion and respect for, uh, for others as well. If you see someone getting bullied in school, don't be afraid to stand up for that person and help them, because you, want to be, you will want the same to be done for you. Good citizenship means making positive contributions to the life of others. I know that all of these traits are present in each and every one of you, and it's up to you to continue to exemplify them throughout the rest of your education in Hampton and your entire life. The world will be a better place with students like you taking initiative and continue to show what being a good citizen is all about. And with all that being said, congratulations. You may have noticed that I said that there, were t there was a tie for valedictorian, and the other valedictorian can't be here today, but I do want to tell you a little bit about him. His name is Hunter Thompson, and he's actually he's not here because he's studying in Germany as part of the youth exchange program where he's, he is representing the United States. He has a 1450 SAT score. He is an Eagle Scout and a member of the Crabber soccer team. He attended the 2015 Residential Summer Governor's School for French Language Immersion and held a summer 2016 internship at the Jefferson Lab. He is a QuestBridge Scholar and he has a full ride scholarship to University of Chicago. So that's Hunter Thompson. Let's give him a hand. The class of 2017 valedictorian for Kikatan High School is Caitlin Herman, graduating with a cumulative grade point average of 4.59 and a 1250 SAT score. Caitlin's a member of the Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society, the National Honor Society, and the Spanish Honor Society. 
She is an active member of Community Presbyterian Church and the Warrior Varsity Field Hockey Team, of which she is the team captain. Caitlin is also engaged in volunteering and community service work with the Salvation Army and Relay for Life. Both have provided her with the opportunity to continually engage with her, within her community and give back to others. Caitlin will be joining the Cavaliers as she attends the University of Virginia in the fall, majoring in pre-med. Please come forward. Good morning. Good morning. Or afternoon, I'm not sure what time it is. Um, but I would like to thank the Hampton City School Board, Hampton City Council, Dr. Smith, and the division leadership team for the support of myself and all the students in Hampton City Schools. And of course, I would like to congratulate all of you here today on your outstanding citizenship and say that I'm honored to have the opportunity to speak with you. I will begin by asking everyone this. If the words you spoke appeared on your skin, would you still consider yourself beautiful? As a young child, being kind to those around you, your classmates, your peers, your friends, everyone, was the absolute embodiment of good citizenship. We were drilled with that golden rule, treat others the way you want to be treated. In elementary school, this is a lesson that our parents and teachers made sure we were stained with. But as my age grew, so did my understanding of citizenship. As Winston Churchill once said, we make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. As a new middle schooler, citizenship took on a whole new meaning. I was inducted into the National Junior Honor Society at Jones, I became active in community service at my grandmother's church, and I finally understood that the feeling of doing good for someone out of the kindness of your heart is the most satisfying reward of all. However, as I entered the vast chaos of high school, I found myself having trouble wondering how I could further my understanding of citizenship. I joined more community service clubs, was inducted into multiple more honor societies, and further involved myself in the community. I continued to celebrate difference and be kind with whenever possible. But something so simple that many forget to do at this stage amidst all of the chaos is to be themselves. During these times, it is hard to make sure you do not get caught up in the drama of who's dating who or who is the most popular and let them influence the way you act and your morals. My mother always told me, you are doing an injustice to the world by not being completely yourself. This is because everyone has something unique to offer. It is just up to you to find within yourself what you are able to give. So back to elementary school at Asbury, I was citizen of the month in my classroom nearly every year. However, in middle school and high school, as the pool of students grew, I was never awarded this honor. This never discouraged me from being a good citizen, however. The point is that many times throughout your life, you will realize that your actions can go unrecognized, but know they will never be unnoticed. The lost new girl you made friends with in elementary school will never forget how you made her feel welcome. The elderly person that you served lunch to at the retirement home will never forget the happiness that you radiated onto them, and the people you meet will never forget how much you inspired them. Never let anything stop you because even if you do not realize it, an act of kindness is never wasted. So what exactly does it mean to be a good citizen? It means many things. It means all of the things I have mentioned today and more. It means be kind to everyone. It means to give back with no expectations. It means be who you are unapologetically. It means that your life is your message to the world. Make it inspiring. Thank you and congratulations. Unfortunately, the valedictorian for Phoebus High School could not be here today, but I want to tell you a little bit about this great young man. The valedictorian for the Phoebus Phantoms class of 2017 is Michael Hendrickson with a grade point average of 4.57, a 1450 SAT score, and an ACT composite score of 30. Michael is enrolled in Phantom's IDEA Academy and attends the engineering strand of the Governor's School for Science and Technology. He is a team leader for the award-winning Phoebus Robotics Team and a member of the Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society, president of the National Honor Society, and plays for the Phoebus soccer team. During the summer, Michael will be working with NASA Langley Research Center on the Mars Electric Flyer Internship Project. 
Researching and testing vertical takeoff and landing for vehicles that will, be that will go to Mars in the future. That's pretty impressive. In the fall, Michael will be attending Virginia Tech studying mechanical engineering. Let's give Michael a hand. Before we close our luncheon, I would like our valedictorians to come back up for a, a, a small gift. Caitlin Onkush, Ashley. We hope you like chocolate. These are large chocolate bars. Let's give them another round of applause. <laughs> Thanks again to our sponsors and congratulations to all of our citizens of the month. Shortly, we will dismiss our students by bus number. And also don't forget your packets, which will include a schedule sharing when this luncheon will air on our television station. Congratulations again and have a great day. Mm -hmm.